Okay, so we're back with another video related to the Cloud Resume Challenge. In this part of the challenge, we're going to have a look at S3. So first few steps of the Cloud Resume Challenge are to deploy a website. And the way we're going to do that is using S3. So in this video, we're basically gonna go through how to set up an S3 bucket. To do that, we're gonna use AWS SAM, uh, so we're going to get to use some new tools. We're going to be using cloud formation, I am and S3. So already we're in the deep, um, getting hands dirty and we're going to set up an S3 bucket. I don't think today we will, uh, have the website hosted just yet. We'll do that stuff in the next video, but yes. So today we're going to go ahead and create ourselves an S3 bucket. So let's, uh, let's get started. Right. Okay. So in this part, what we're going to do is we are going to work on part one so we're going to work on setting up an s3 bucket so that we can put some html in there uh it's step four technically but what we'll do is we'll start with the infrastructure and we'll come back and put some put some html and css into our s3 bucket afterwards so i mean firstly first question is what is s3 so s3 is sort of this file service that you have on aws and it's really useful for storing um, storing files in, uploading files to, and things like that. And one of the things that you can also do with it is use it for a hosted website, which is what we will be doing today. And one other thing that is mentioned inside of the instructions for the Cloud Resume Challenge is to use SAM. So we're actually going to jump a bit ahead and we'll come back a bit later, but we're actually gonna go ahead and get SAM set up because we're gonna use SAM to create ourselves an S3 bucket which will eventually host our website. So firstly as well, what is AWS SAM? So before we jump into it, so AWS SAM is the serverless application. I have forgotten the full acronym, serverless application model. And it is sort of like a framework that exists within AWS. I suppose you will understand a bit more once we actually have a look at it. Um, it's usually typically used for deploying serverless applications, but as we'll see, you can also just de deploy generic cloud formation. And when I say generic cloud formation, what I really mean here is that we can deploy any different resource within AWS, which is perfect for us because we want to deploy S3. What we will look at today will also deploy as a Lambda function, which we will need later, but we can ignore that for now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go and install the SAM CLI. So this is the link for it. I'll leave that in the document here as well. And let's go ahead and run a SAM in it in our repo, which will initialize uh, AWS SAM. So which template source would I like to use? I would like to use the quick start templates. I would like to use a zip Lambda and I would like to use Golang. We'll come back to that later. Cloud resume challenge. And that's gonna go ahead and get everything set up for me for AWS SAM. It's gonna bootstrap my repository and it's just gonna kick everything off, which is great. Saves us a whole bunch of time. Just wait for that to go through right. So now AWS quick start application templates. I'm gonna go ahead with hello world. And that's it. That's everything done. If I do CD now, I should be able to go into Cloud Resume Challenge. And if I have a look inside that folder, now you can see I've got a template file, which is my cloud formation, and I've got a hello world Lambda function. We'll come back to that later. We'll just ignore everything about Lambda for today. Just going to look at the other stuff. So next step. So the way that Sam works is sort of with a two step. So um, let me run Sam build first, actually. Uh, is with a two-step process. So when we go to deploy SAM or AWS SAM, it will create some infrastructure for us behind the scenes. So SAM build is just compiling down our templates ready to be deployed. And we are then going to need to do a SAM deploy. But before we can do that, we actually need to go ahead and give our user some permissions. We need CloudFormation, IAM, Lambda, and API Gateway. So I'm just gonna jump into the console now go back to my user, I'm gonna add some permissions, add some existing policies, and I need IAM. So I'm gonna give IAM full access for now. Go ahead, add that. I think I probably could have done these all as one. Uh, attach existing policies, we need IAM, we need cloud formation. Let me find that, cloud formation full access, we want that, we want IAM, we want Lambda, because it's going to create as a Lambda, and that's fine for now. Lambda full access. And what else do we need? API gateway, API gateway full access is what we're looking for. Can't see it there. API 
gateway administrator. That's probably the one I want. Okay, go ahead, add those permissions to my IAM user. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run a SAM deploy. So as before, you're going to need to run AWS Vault execute for your user. In this case, it's my user. In this case, I'm having to avoid using a session uh, in order to do this. So let me go ahead and copy this in and do a SAM deploy. Now the last flag there is guided. Let me just put my password in. Uh, did I do that wrong? I don't know. So the last one is guided. So this is gonna run you through a SAM uh, wizard, which is basically gonna ask me some questions. I'm gonna go cloud uh, resume challenge. It's the name of my stack. US East one is fine for me. Confirm changes before deploy. You might want that for now. I'm gonna put no. Uh, create an IAM role for SAM, sure. Uh, my function might not have authori authorization. That is fine. Save arguments. Yes, I want to save these arguments and and keep those as the default. So what that's doing for us is just setting up some default options inside of AWS SAM. I think if I go back to my folder, you will see in here, I think it's here. Yes, you have a bunch of um, default configurations so that next time you run that command, if I go back uh, into here, you don't need to run this guided flag. You can just run a SAM deploy on its own. It won't ask you those questions again. So, right, that should be deploying my SAM configuration. So if I go over into cloud formation inside of AWS, I should see here, right? So we've got some resources that are creating for me. These are the sort of base resources that allow AWS SAM to function, um, sort of like the back end, the state for AWS SAM itself. This will only need to be deployed once for each sort of version of AWS SAM. So every time we do a deploy after this, we're going to be deploying new resources, but we won't ever need to deploy this sort of core infrastructure again. So if I go into that now, we should be able to see what it's making and it's making a source bucket there and adding a policy. Now, if you're curious, you can go ahead and actually have a look what's in that bucket and have a dig around if you want, but that's what AWS SAM is creating for us. That seems to have gone through correctly, which is good. And now what it's doing is it's actually deploying the resources that we defined previously uh, in our SAM template, which was actually just the default. So this was our template, which includes a serverless function and a bunch of outputs, but we can all ignore this for now. We'll come back to that later, but this should be deploying me a serverless function. So this now, if I go up here, refresh, See, now I've got two stacks. This is because this one is creating resources related to AWS SAM. And up here, we're getting resources that are created related to our function. So we've got our IAM role is created and our Lambda function is being created, uh, creating some Lambda permissions and a default API gateway, all of which is fine for us. We will reuse this later. Uh, let's just go ahead and let that deploy everything for now. Uh, and, da, 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 and everything's gone through, wonderful. I have prayed to the Lord of the demo gods and they were nice to me today. So that has now deployed our SAM template, but it's deployed as a serverless function. And actually for today, we wanted an S3 bucket to deploy our website on. So what I've got here is a little snippet that I saved from before. So this template YAML can also accept just raw cloud formation in it as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go create a resource called my website and it's going to be of type S3 bucket, and the property name is going to be my fantastic website. So what I'm gonna do is go over and I'm gonna to need to run a SAM build again, uh, just to compile down my template. And now I should be able to run my SAM deploy again, but this time I won't use the guided because we should already have our options. Let me just put in my password and let that run. And what this should do now is create me an S3 bucket. Waiting for this to deploy. And we haven't really talked about this too much, but what we're doing here is actually we're defining infrastructure as code. We referenced this before, uh, infrastructure as code is also mentioned inside the Cloud Resume Challenge. And we are actually writing infrastructure as code right now, but we haven't talked a bit too much about why we're doing that or you know, why that's beneficial but we'll come back to that at a later stage. Let's just wait for this stuff to go up. If you go back into CloudFormation, we should see, so we've got an update in progress. Let me do a refresh, uh, and that seems to be complete. 
Wonderful. So that's now actually created an S3 bucket for me. Let's go back and run the S3 LS command as well. And what I'm hoping to see now is my fantastic website. Wonderful. Look, that was created today just now. So yes, that's basically that's created our bucket, which I think that's probably enough for today. What we'll do in the next video is actually go through and add our HTML and CSS into our static website. Um, but yeah, let's save that for another video. We've got quite a lot going on there. Um, have a go with that. Have a go setting up SAM. Have a go having a look at CloudFormation. Have a look at the S3 that you've created. Have a, uh, you know, just a little poke around and have a look. You see, these are all the resources that we've created here. Uh, Lambda function, Lambda permission, I am role and those things. So you can go and have a look at those resources if you want and have a look at what they are. You know, if you follow these links, you'll see, you know, we've created something here in API Gateway and you can have a poke around and have a look at what you've actually created there. And yeah, just get familiar, have a read of the docs for AWS SAM, have a look at how that works, have a look at the docs for CloudFormation, have a look at the docs for um, all the different things that we've looked at today. And yes, in the next video, we will look at the HTML CSS part. So, and that's it. I'll leave you with that. Okay, so there you have it. You should now be familiar with AWS SAM. You should also be familiar with S3. So as we said, just go and have a look at those different resources in your AWS console. Have a look at the things that you've created. Ignore for now the serverless function. We'll come back to that. Uh, but yes, you're well on your way. You've created some resources and you know we're making some progress towards having this resume up. So, you know, uh, go take a break, go chill out for five minutes, you know, <laughs> or longer, go for a walk. Um, yeah, because you're, you're taking the first steps now, which is really cool. So things are starting to take shape. So I'll see you in the next video when we'll take some files and we'll put them into the S3 bucket and start to make everything look a bit more like a website.